Guys, so stinking excited. I literally just made merch t-shirts that say funk the fda and i'm starting to question that decision now i mean honestly funk it like funk it baby funk in a good way right um so the united states just gave money for hobo and so did barda not even sure what barda is but they just signed a 226 million dollar contract for getting funding for Hobo. We don't have to order the nasty shit from China anymore. No, mo. You don't have to eat a chemical that's gonna ruin your life from China because the United States government cares about lead poisoning. So, not a mention of gadolinium, but who cares? Who cares? And you know what's really interesting? I'm assuming that they are studying lead poisoning in the acute phase. Like, for example, someone comes in and swallows a paint chip or something. But I would be so curious to know how HOPA works on metals that are embedded in the body. If it works well on metals that are embedded in the body and can, like, literally pull them out of areas where they're stuck, which that has not been proven yet. Nobody knows. Literally nobody knows. But if it can, that is game changing because imagine all the people who are walking around right now with heavy metals stored in their tissues and they actually have disease from it without even realizing. What a weird world we live in. And I'm out here thinking I'm making a difference by having a YouTube channel with like 400 subscribers. But guys... No wonder the hope of people never email anybody from gadolinium toxicity. They're out here getting getting bills, getting Benjamins. They're they're raking dough. I mean, obviously it's a contract, so I'm sure it is an investment in terms of if it comes to fruition, then they would make money off of it. But I'm so excited. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Let me just read over the article. Okay, let's put my speech impediment to the test. It's not too bad when I speak normally, but when I read, it's the worst. I don't know. I might be able to accomplish this. All right. Hope Therapeutics Inc. announced today that it has been awarded a contract valued at up to $225 million from the Biomedical Advanced Research and Development. Maybe, maybe I can read better if I read faster. Oh my god, what's going on? BARDA. Part of the Administration for Strategic Preparedness and Response within the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, the funds will be used to advance development of the drug candidate HOPO 101 through registrational studies as a medical countermeasure against radiological threats, including planned submission of the new drug application to the U.S. FDA. I'm sorry for those t-shirts, but I'm not because they kind of slap. They're kind of funky. They're kind of fun. Funk you, FDA, I love you, FDA, funk you, I love you, funk you. The O, initial award of approximately 9.4 million will fund toxicology and pharmacological studies, manufacturing activities and non-clinical research and other types of heavy metal poisoning with approximately 216 million in additional funding. Oh my god. That's a half a billion dollar deal, baby. Oh my god. Anyway, I was just thinking, wow. Like, literally my thoughts were, wow, obviously. Uh, but I was thinking, can I have a slice of that? Because I'm messed up based on the decisions that the FDA made in, in 2017 to not put tighter restrictions on gadolinium. I'm in trouble because of that. And here they are giving a half a million, billion dollars away. I'm really glad that they are. Give it to them. If anybody deserves it, it's... The people trying to save us all from the end of the world and from drug poisoning. Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep reading. Oh, that's so cool. So basically, later sta- Oh, the tinnitus is going crazy when I wear these headphones. I literally hear screeching right now. Later stage development upon accretement between BARDA and HOPO. The ongoing phase one clinical study of HOPO 101... I don't know it was called HOPO 101. I thought it was like 2, 3, or 2, 3, 2. Yeah, 
or was it three four three? I can't remember. As well as an earlier non-clinical work has been funded by the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. It sounds like I need to apply to Berkeley. I think the Berkeley lab is separate than UC Berkeley, but sounds like I need to apply to college again. Get in there. There are no approved oral therapies to treat individuals exposed to radioactive heavy metals like plutonium, americium, curium. Are there any others that you want to mention? I don't think so. In the event of a radiological or nuclear disaster treatment with a decorporation agent, I'm doing so well, a drug designed to bind and accelerate, it's probably because it's morning, by the way, and accelerate the clearance of heavy metals from the body is the only practical means to mitigate the risk of radiation poisoning. Hope Both Therapeutics is developing decorporation agents that can be taken orally with the aim of providing rapid access of treatment for an exposed population. This BARDA funding will also be used to study HOPA 101 as a possible treatment for lead poisoning. As recently highlighted by several leading global health organizations, including the U.S. Agency for International Development, you said, not N said, you said, lead poisoning kills an estimated 1.5 million people each year, more than malaria and HIV combined. Wow. Most of these deaths and the over 800 million children currently suffering from lead poisoning are in low and middle income communities. That makes sense. Probably have old houses with lead paint and stuff. We are thrilled to partner with Barda on the development of a new oral. And plus like, oh my God, if they had to go in the ER, they could just take a pill. That's crazy. That's crazy. And then maybe, like, if people started reacting to gadolinium right away, they could get their GPs to prescribe this for them or something. (sighs) Or thrilled to partner with Barda on the development of a new oral decorporation agent for radiological threat preparedness, said Julian Rees, HOPO's chief executive officer and co-founder. We believe that HOPA 101 can fill an important gap in the world's ability to respond to nuclear or radiological disaster, a scenario made ever more likely by ongoing conflicts around the world. Yeah, that's cool. Love that comment. I mean, it's true, but ah! And that it could also help to address one of the most significant unmet needs in global health. Yep, that's true. Especially when they're poisoning people. It's a really big need when they start injecting stuff. Why, don't, why aren't they injecting uranium into people? I don't get it. Non-clinical studies indicate that HOPA 101 would be a substantial improvement over the existing standard of care, and we are delighted to have BARDA's support in exploring its dual-use capability as both a medical countermeasure and a potential treatment for lead poisoning in adults and children. Funding for this award was received under contract through BARDA's broad agency announcement. This project has been supported in whole or in part with federal funds from the Department of Health and Human Services, Administration for Strategic Preparedness and Response Biomedical Advanced Research, and development authority under contract number seven five that doesn't matter all right you heard it here probably not first because i saw this on the facebook group but how exciting that is truly exciting i really don't have anything else to say other than yeehaw funk the fda oh man so many mixed emotions. It's like, I'm so happy about something that I shouldn't even have to be happy about. I wish I wasn't happy about this because then that would mean I wasn't poisoned with gadolinium. 